all eyes were on Maine Senator Olympia Snow to see if she would break with fellow Republicans and support the Senate Finance Committee's $829 billion health care reform package that committee chairman Max Baucus worked on for months. Let us enact this balanced common sense plan to improve health care. Let us reform the health care system to control costs and premiums. Let us extend health care coverage to all Americans. One by one, Republicans voiced their opposition, complaining about cuts in Medicare, new taxes, and higher premiums. This bill is already uh, moving on a slippery slope to more and more government control of health care. Snow kept everyone guessing until late in the meeting when she revealed she would support the measure. So is this bill all that I would want far from it? Is it all that it can be? No. But when history calls, history calls. That was music to the ears of Chairman Max Baucus, who had worked weeks to try to win Snow's support. It was also welcome news at the White House, where President Barack Obama twice praised Senator Snow and the committee, but also cautioned there is plenty more to do Good to afternoon. achieve his top domestic priority. Now's not the time to pat ourselves on the back. Now's not the time to offer ourselves congratulations. Now's the time to dig in and work even harder to get this done. The ayes have it. The final committee vote of 14 to 9 enables the White House to say that the bill enjoys bipartisan support. This isn't the first time that Senator Snow has broken with her party, but while Democrats might want to view her as a vote against any possible Republican filibuster on health care reform, Snow made clear there's no guarantee that she will support whatever health care reform bill comes before the full Senate.